Hi, I'm going to show you my Carmen Gear EV and tell you about the restoration and conversion to electric. I'll talk about the performance and show you details of the electrical systems. The car is a 68 model that started out in Arizona, moved across to the UK in 1997 and down under here to New Zealand in 2006. A truly well-traveled little car. We decided to carry out a full restoration of the car at the same time preparing for the EV conversion. This way we could design and build the installation of the electric components and the batteries in parallel with the restoration. We chose EV West uh, AC50 motor and controller. We went with five Tesla Model S battery packs, an Orion BMS2 battery management system, and we set up Chatimo fast charging and a liquid cooling system for the batteries. So overall, those last few items added quite a bit of complexity to the project. At the same time as all this was going on, we decided to convert the car to right-hand drive. This was a pretty straightforward exercise from the steering column and pedal cluster points of view, but the dash took some serious chopping and welding. Fortunately, I discovered a guy in Australia making left-hand side glove box apertures and lids, and that saved a huge amount of work. We just the most common question I get asked is, what's the range of this car? So the five Tesla Model S packs give us 26.5 kilowatts of capacity, gives the car probably a maximum range of 160 kilometers or 100 miles. But we've installed the Chatimo fast charging system on the car and that really takes range anxiety out of the equation. The charging stations are all over the place. In fact, I charge mostly at home anyway. The AC50 motor is, is fine for the Carmen gear. Power and torque are roughly 30% higher than a standard 1600 twin port engine. And of course the torque curve on an EV uh, is much flatter, delivering maximum torque across a wider rev range than the old petrol engines. And while acceleration is not sort of neck breaking, um, when you plant the foot to the floor and you're pulling sort of 550 to 600 amps, um, you certainly leave a standard air cooled for dead. Uh, we've kept the standard gearbox and, and so we have the choice of all the gears, but we tend to use second gear around town um, and then on the open road drop it into third gear where it'll cruise along at 100k uh, pulling just over 4000 revs. Because we've got the Tesla batteries we, we put an Orion BMS2 battery management system uh, in there and that's constantly monitoring the batteries. We installed a 7 inch tablet on the dashboard and we pick up a bunch of data from the battery management system which shows the pack voltage, battery max and min temperature, um, max and min voltage, how many amps are being sucked out uh, when we're accelerating or put back in when we're decelerating. It has uh, re regener regenerative braking. And it also shows how many kilowatts the car is using at any time and that's kind of interesting because uh, at about 80 kilometers per hour on a flat road the car's using about 8 kilowatts of power so not much at all. The weight of the vehicle was, was a bit of a challenge. Uh, the Carmen gears weigh in at around 860 kilograms empty. Um, this one's added about 100 kilograms and so to get around the certification process in New Zealand we had to certify the car as a two-seater. Um, not a major problem because the back seat of a Carmen gear is pretty useless anyway um, and what we did is we we converted that into sort of a, a parcel tray and created more space underneath for all the electronics um, and and so it's worked out really well from that point. So there you have it, my 68 Carmen Gear EV. I hope you like this video.
Thanks for watching.